Another apparent policy or, excuse me, intelligence failure is that the Russians are now much more heavily involved in Syria than, I mean, was it a policy failure? I'm sorry, I should ask it as a, 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 an intelligence failure that, we, that the U.S. missed that the Russians would be actively militarily engaged in Syria. I don't know if it's an intelligence failure. I do think Russian intentions are quite clear, though. Yeah. Uh, and the Russian intention in, in Syria is to prop up the Assad regime, uh, to put Russia in a, in a place to uh, be, able, be able to be a dominant force with respect to whatever political settlement emerges here. This is not Russia joining some anti-ISIS coalition, anti-terror coalition. This is all about Russian interests. Which and is what they say it is out yeah. loud, and, right? And it's just, but look at the geography of the strikes yeah. and look at the weaponry. The geography is against almost all, not ISIS targets, but opposition to Assad. And the weaponry has a lot more to do with kind of precluding Western, uh, Western options. Now, the Russians may live to regret this, uh, but it is a more complicated and a more dangerous situation. You have U.S. and Russian military assets operating in military campaigns in very close proximity. That's exceedingly dangerous. And I think we'll see, you know, Russian approach to these kinds of things is not, is not uh, subtle. If you look at what their approach was, David will remember this very clearly in Chechnya, for example, I think I have to give you a picture of what you could see in terms of a Russian effort here. David, do you, what, what do you make two questions on intelligence, but then also uh, President Obama said, well, this is a sign of weakness for Vladimir Putin. His economy has collapsed. He's got to prop up his one state in the region. What do you make of that argument? First, I, I think the intelligence uh, was a problem. We didn't see the dimensions of the Russian military intervention in, in, in Syria coming. The president does see this as a sign of Putin's weakness. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's true that Putin is playing a weak hand. His key client, uh, Bashar al-Assad, is, is just hanging by a thread. And that is the major reason I think the Russians have come in. What the administration has to see is that Putin now in Syria, as in, in Ukraine, is playing a weak hand brilliantly, forcefully. And this is, to me, an illustration as the U.S. steps back in these areas of conflict, others step forward. And they, they begin to do things. They begin to create facts on the ground, as Russia is now doing with, with its military, that change the situation for us. So, yes, Putin is, is weak, as the president says, but the U.S. response, I would say, is weaker right, still. Dave, I've got to interrupt you. I'm sorry we're out of time. Tom, thanks so much. Thank you both. We'll be back in a moment.